Noam Chomsky's The Fateful Triangle, is a deeply critical examination of the complex and often contentious relationship between the United States, Israel, and the Palestinian people. Originally published in 1983, with expanded editions following, this book provides a detailed analysis of the America's role in supporting Israel, the impact of this relationship on the Palestinians, and the broader implications for Middle East peace. Chomsky's work is a powerful critique of U.S. foreign policy and its consequences, and it remains one of the most influential works on the subject. Chomsky begins by exploring the historical roots of the America-Israel alliance, tracing its origins back to the post-World War I era. He argues that American support for Israel is driven by a combination of strategic interests and ideological affinities. On a strategic level, Israel serves as a crucial ally in a region that is of immense importance to America. Economic and geopolitical interests, particularly because of its vast oil reserves, America views Israel as a reliable partner in maintaining stability in the Middle East, which often involves supporting authoritarian regimes that align with America's interests. Ideologically, the America and Israel share a common narrative of frontier expansion, national destiny, and a mission to civilize and democratize perceived backward societies. Chomsky is highly critical of the mainstream portrayal of the America-Israel relationship, which he argues is often presented in moral and ideological terms, rather than as a product of real politique. He challenges the common narrative that America supports Israel out of a commitment to shared democratic values, pointing out that America has often supported Israel even when its actions have been at odds with international law and human rights standards. Chomsky argues that this support is more accurately understood as part of a broader American strategy to maintain its dominance in the Middle East. A significant portion of the fateful triangle is devoted to the plight of the Palestinians whom Chomsky argues have been systematically marginalized and oppressed by both Israel and its Western allies, particularly the United States. He provides a detailed account of the Israeli occupation of Palestinian territories, including the West Bank and Gaza Strip, and the impact of this occupation on the Palestinian people. Chomsky is particularly critical of the Israeli government's policies of settlement expansion, land confiscation, and military repression, which he argues are aimed at permanently disenfranchising the Palestinian population. Chomsky also discusses the broader regional implications of the America-Israel alliance particularly its impact on other Middle Eastern countries. He argues that American support for Israel has exacerbated tensions in the region, leading to a cycle of violence and instability that has made it difficult to achieve a lasting peace. Chomsky is particularly critical of American policy in Lebanon where he argues that the America has supported Israeli actions that have contributed to the destruction of the country and the suffering of its people. He also discusses the role of other regional powers, such as Egypt and Jordan, in the America-Israel alliance, arguing that these countries have often acted as intermediaries in implementing American Policy in the region, Chomsky's analysis of the America-Israel relationship, 
is deeply informed by his critique of the role of the media and intellectuals in shaping public opinion. He argues that the mainstream media in America has played a crucial role in perpetuating myths about the America-Israel relationship, often presenting a highly sanitized and one-sided view of the conflict. Chomsky is particularly critical of the way the media covers Israeli actions in the occupied territories, arguing that it often downplays or ignores the suffering of the Palestinians. While portraying Israel as a victim of aggression, he also discusses the role of intellectuals and academics in justifying U.S. and Israeli policies arguing that many prominent figures have been complicit in legitimizing the oppression of the Palestinians. One of the central themes of the fateful triangle is the idea of a double standard in American foreign policy, particularly with regard to human rights. Chomsky argues that America often criticizes other countries for human rights abuses, while turning a blind eye to similar or worse actions by Israel. He points to numerous examples of American support for Israeli actions that have been widely condemned by the international community, such as the 1982 invasion of Lebanon and, and the ongoing occupation of Palestinian territories. Chomsky argues that this double standard is rooted in the America's strategic interests in the region, which often take precedence over its professed commitment to human rights and democracy. Chomsky also delves into the broader ideological and cultural factors that underpin American support for Israel. He discusses the influence of pro-Israel lobbying groups in Washington such as the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee and their role in shaping American policy. Chomsky argues that these groups have been highly effective in promoting a narrative that portrays Israel as a beleaguered democracy surrounded by hostile enemies, a narrative that has been embraced by much of American political establishment. He also discusses the role of evangelical Christian groups in supporting Israel, arguing that their influence has further entrenched American support for Israeli policies. A key aspect of Chomsky's critique is his analysis of the so-called peace process between Israel and the Palestinians. He argues that the peace process has often been a charade designed to provide cover for continued Israeli expansion and repression, rather than to achieve a genuine and just resolution to the conflict. Chomsky is particularly critical of the Oslo Accords, which he argues were a major setback for the Palestinian cause. He points out that while the Accords were hailed as a breakthrough in the peace process, they in fact allowed Israel to continue its settlement expansion and military occupation while giving the appearance of making concessions to the Palestinians. Chomsky argues that America has played a central role in perpetuating this charade, consistently supporting Israeli policies that undermine the prospects for a just and lasting peace throughout the fateful triangle. Chomsky emphasizes the importance of understanding the conflict in its historical context. He argues that the America-Israel relationship cannot be understood in isolation, but must be seen as part of a broader pattern of American interventionism and imperialism in the Middle East. Chomsky is particularly critical of the way history has been selectively remembered and manipulated to justify America and Israeli actions. He argues that this selective memory has allowed America to present itself as a neutral and benevolent actor in the region, 
even as it has consistently supported policies that have led to violence and suffering. Chomsky's critique of American policy is not limited to the actions of the American government. He also takes aim at the broader structures of power and domination that underpin the global order. He argues that the America Israel relationship is part of a larger system of global capitalism and imperialism that exploits the resources and labor of the global south for the benefit of the global north. Chomsky is particularly critical of the role of multinational corporations, which he argues are the real beneficiaries of American policy in the Middle East. He discusses the ways in which these corporations have shaped American policy to serve their interests, often at the expense of democracy and human rights. In the fateful triangle, Chomsky also addresses the prospects for change in U.S. policy towards Israel and the Palestinians. He is cautiously optimistic. Arguing that growing awareness of the injustices faced by the Palestinians could lead to a shift in public opinion, and eventually, in policy. However, he is also realistic about the obstacles to change, particularly the entrenched power of the pro-Israel lobby and the American military-industrial complex. Chomsky calls for a broad-based movement for peace and justice that can challenge the structures of power and domination that underpin American policy in the Middle East.